Hello and welcome to the holiday edition of our video roundup. I'm Sandrine Kirstemo and I'm here to show you our top five science videos for this year. You may have your own favorites, but these are the ones that were the most popular. At number five, we have squirrels with hot tails. Researchers at the University of California used an infrared camera to spy on squirrels and found out that they heat up their tails and wave them at rattlesnakes to pretend to be bigger than they actually are. Rattlesnakes use an infrared sensing organ to detect small mammals, so if squirrels increase the blood flow to their tails, they can trick the snakes. When a squirrel encounters a gopher snake, which doesn't have an infrared sensing organ, it simply wags a cold tail to deter it. Squirrels can tell snakes apart, but it seems like humans can't even tell which hand is which. At number four, we have a video about the rubber hand illusion. A classical illusion that has been published in 1998 by two Americans, Bart Wienig and, and, and Cohen, two American uh, neuroscientists, is the rubber hand illusion. The rubber hand illusion consists in placing, um, let's say, one's left arm out of sight, out of vision, and placing in front of the eyes of the subject uh, a hand uh, in plastic, a rubber hand, and then the experimenter will stroke, let's say, the left, uh, the index finger of my left hand, and at the same time the ind left index finger of the of the rubber hand. And if he does this synchronously for a minute, up to two minutes, certain subjects, two thirds of all subjects, will start experiencing this hand for some moments as if it were belonging to their body. So this is one way, and this is normally um, um, investigated by questionnaires, so the subject will be asked a certain number of questions to respond to. And then there is a second measure, which is, in my opinion, even more interesting, because if you then, after these two minutes of stroking, will close the eyes of the subject and ask them, well, now point to where your hand would really be, they do not point with eyes closed to the real arm, they will point towards the rubber arm. I really felt that my hand was transposed and into that uh, false hand that was presented in front of me. The feeling was really an, an awkward feeling, a very strange feeling of having a false hand belonging to me. We see, we visually see that the hand is false, but we can't uh, separate that from the fact that we actually feel our hand uh, in that place. Now for something less cerebral. Our next video is X-rated, so close your eyes if you're underage. At number three, we have the sex secrets of the spiny anteater. Zookeepers at the Kurumban Wildlife Sanctuary in Australia have been discovering the sex secrets of a captive spiny anteater. For the first time, they're finding out how the males of the species ejaculate. The creatures have a four-headed penis, but two of the heads shut down right before ejaculation. Each time they ejaculate, semen is secreted from alternate sides. This has never been observed in a mammal before, but is very similar to the reproductive mechanisms of reptiles. Researchers believe it could suggest an evolutionary link. Undiluted semen samples were also studied for the first time. The anteater's sperm seemed to clump together in groups of up to 100 sperm. They found that large clusters of sperm traveled faster than single sperm or smaller clumps. Sperm are thought to group together to give the males an advantage as they compete to fertilize an egg. When female anteaters are in heat, they often mate with up to 11 males, one after another. Wow, those female anteaters really sleep around. Our next video shows an animal that has a ferocious appetite for fish. At number two, we have the jumbo squid. Back in July, schools of squid invaded the waters off California's central coast, and this footage was captured by researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute. Historically, jumbo squid would only migrate north from Central America when the ocean warmed up because of El Nino. But since 2002, they are sticking around permanently. Scientists think that global warming and overfishing are to blame. From squid we move on to, well there really is no link between squid and our final video. Our top science video of the year is all about an elegant model that could be the theory of everything. Garrett Lisi's theory of everything unites gravity with the other fundamental forces of nature using this intricate pattern called E8. Elementary particles are placed on each of its 248 points. Red, orange, green, blue and purple triangles represent various quarks and yellow and grey triangles denote leptons, a type of particle that includes electrons and neutrinos. Particles that carry a force are depicted by circles. Rotating this model reveals how the fundamental forces are hidden within its structure.
Lisi uses a star-like pattern to show the relationship between gravity and the electroweak force. The green circles depict the particles that carry gravity, while the yellow circles represent the particles that carry the electroweak force. The blue circular gluons that carry the strong force emerge from the centre. Here, electrons and neutrinos fall to the centre, forming another star shape. At the same time, quarks and antiquarks cluster around the edges. Within each cluster, the quarks congregate into families of three, with each family member forming the point of a triangle. The hexagonal pattern that Lisi uses to describe the strong nuclear force is also contained in the E8 model. Using simple geometry, the pattern predicts how the gluons that carry the strong force will interact with quarks. And rotating the model again brings it right back to the beginning. Now I think I need some time to ponder that theory. From all of us at New Scientist, we wish you all a very happy holiday season. Join us again in the new year for a whole load of new science videos, or you can always check out our magazine. See you next year!